This is a tan man doing what I love, and today I'm going to be giving my thoughts and reacting to the top 100 players of 2019 list numbers 100 through 51. Basically, every year the players vote on who the best players of the previous NFL season were. So, how this format's going to work is it's basically going to say the position, what number they are, the name of the player. Um, the position they play, and the team they are currently on. So Eric Weddle, last year he played for the Baltimore Ravens, but he got traded in the offseason to the Rams, so it says Rams. And also, if they were on the season last year, I'll have the number there. I'm going to leave a link to um, this website down below if you want to watch the little videos they have on the players. It's pretty cool. So let's get into number 100 with Eric Weddle. Um, I think that... This is a good spot for Weddle. He was good. The Ravens defense was amazing. He was a key part. I'll maybe have him a bit lower at, say, number 80 or 85, but I'm glad he made the list. Next up at 99, we have Derrick Henry running back for the Titans. Henry had a really amazing game against the Jaguars pretty late in the season. Was on, I think on Monday night, we had, like, a fantastic run. It was, like, 99 yards, and after that, he started getting pretty good, but it was a little bit too late, so I do like this spot. Tyler Lockett, a uh, wide receiver for the Seahawks, um, I think is a really underrated player. Him and Russell Wilson have really great chemistry with the deep ball. I think Tyler Lockett should be around the 60s. I think he had some really great plays last season. Byron Jones, cornerback for the Cowboys. I don't watch a lot of Cowboys games since I'm an Eagles fan, but Byron Jones was a great defensive player. I do think he should maybe be around the 70s, but I'm glad he made on the list. He did help both Byron Jones and Tyler Lockett help these two teams get into the playoffs. 96, we have Carson Wentz, quarterback for the Eagles. Last year, he was number three, so he dropped a ton. For me, is that justified in a way? Yes. First of all, he was injured. And second of all, Wentz had good numbers and stats, so I'm glad he's on the list. But there were three games I can remember against the Panthers, Titans, and Vikings where he had trouble winning late. And that's a big part of a quarterback, so for that, I think the drop is justified for Wentz a bit. Would I have him at 96? I would say maybe more 85, but yeah. Next up, we have cornerback for the Bears, Kyle Four coming at 95. He was amazing. That Chicago defense was one of the best. Uh, I believe this is very disrespectful to Kyle Four. I would have him at least top 50. Mitchell Schwartz, tackle for the Chiefs, coming at 94. Uh, old lineman on this list, they're kind of a bit underrated, so I would have him up, but even some of the best old linemen, they're in like the 80s and 70s, so... Yeah, but he was really good. Glad he's getting recognition. Same with T.J. Watt, linebacker for the Steelers. Uh, he made some really great plays. I remember coming. In, I remember at Week One against the Browns, he like blocked a field goal um, against Cleveland that helped the Steelers not lose that game. And I remember also against the Panthers, he made some key plays. So I'm glad he's on the list. Um, I think I would maybe have him around 80, but glad he's there. Jarrell Casey, defensive tackle for the Titans. Titans defense was really good. I think this is a good spot, and an Andrew Whitworth tackle for the Rams. Like I said, with Mitchell Schwartz O lineman, kind of a bit um, underrated on this list. I would probably have him, I say, at least top fifty. Uh, Julian Edelman, wide receiver for the Patriots, coming at ninety. Uh, for me, this is um, kind of disrespectful. I'm not the biggest Julian Edelman fan. I don't believe he's a future Hall of Famer, but what I do believe is. Edelman was very key in the success of the Patriots winning the Super Bowl. In the postseason, he was fantastic. In the regular season, he made some good plays as well. So I would say Edelman should at least be at 50. He, and he was also Super Bowl MVP. Devin McCourty, safety for the Patriots. Patriots defense was good. I do think this is a good spot for McCourty. Same with Cam Hayward. Nice to see him getting respect. Cam Newton at 87. Um, this is interesting. Cam Newton got injured, yes, but when he was playing, he was really good. The Panthers, I believe, were 6-2 and two before he got injured. And, you know, I'm a Panthers fan, and watching Cam on tape, he was playing really great. So, I think him and Kirk Cousins should have switched spots on the list. Um, Darius Slay for the Lions, really good cornerback. He had some good plays. I just feel like he's kind of in the 80s because the Lions weren't that well. But, I don't know, I, I would maybe have him in the 70s. Frank Clark for the Seahawks. I was really shocked to see this. I think Frank Clark's a really great player. He's a Seahawks defense. The Legion of Boom, you know, Richard Sherman's with the Niners. Um, a lot of Cam Chancellor retired or Thomas was injured during the season. But Frank Clark helped that Seattle defense be really good. So I believe he should be, I'll say top 40, maybe even top 30 for Frank Clark, who's now actually on the Chiefs. 
Jarvis Landry, um, I'm kind of surprised why he's on the NFL Top 100. Yeah, he was good with the Browns, but I don't think he's part of the NFL's best 100 players. I would have maybe say, if he was on the list, maybe 95. Harrison Smith, safety for the Vikings, I think this is the perfect ranking for him. He did drop a bit, but he was still really good safety, so I like that. Bradley Chubb, another really great ranking. He had a good rookie year for the Broncos. Uh, same with Trent Williams, so I think all three of these players are ranked perfectly. Um, then we'll go on to 80 to 71. Um, I'm confused of why Mark Ingram is on this list. Yeah, he was good with the Saints, but... I don't know if I would say he's uh, one of the best players, so I was kind of confused about that. Geno Atkins, perfect placement. Um, definitely, I think, a very underrated player. Um, good part of the Bengals' defense. And then we get to Kirk Cousins. So, Kirk Cousins, I feel like people are a bit over-exaggerating how bad he was. Kirk Cousins actually put up some pretty good numbers, and it's just that he had trouble winning games. So, I would maybe switch Kirk Cousins with Cam Newton. So Kirk Cousins would be 87 and Cam would be 78. Taylor Lalonde, tackle for the Titans, one of the best offensive linemen. I think this is disrespectful. I would easily have him, I would say, maybe around the 60s of how they're valuing the linemen. But Taylor Lalonde, definitely really fantastic year. That's why I think Derrick Henry, the running back for the Titans, was so successful because of the offensive line. Robert Woods, I love this placement for him. He was good in the Sean McVay system. Glad he's on the list. Gerald McCoy, really good positioning. Leighton Vandersh, linebacker for the Cowboys. Um, I think 74 is good for him. They have him ahead of Bradley Chubb in terms of rookies. I would maybe have him 60s. He was really good. Um, okay, I think that's fine. Stefan Diggs, really, really, I think the undervaluing what Diggs did. He was really good with the Vikings wide receiving core. I know the Vikings didn't make the postseason, but Diggs was still great. He put up good numbers. I would have him. I wouldn't say he's top 50, but I would say around 60. Jason Kelsey, kind of the alignment thing. I love this placement for C.J. Mosley. C.J. Mosley was really good. I actually think 71's kind of a bit disrespectful. He was great. I would say he's in the 40s. So, yeah. T.Y. Hilton, I, I kind of have a bit of... T.Y. Hilton, for me... He had great numbers. He also helped Andrew Luck return to the fantastic form he played. I would say, T do I think T.Y. Hilton's better than Stefan Diggs? I don't know. Do I think T.Y. Hilton's better than Amari Cooper? No. Um, yes. So I would maybe switch T.Y. Hilton at number 70 with Amari Cooper at number 64. That's just kind of my opinion. Um, because I think T.Y. Hilton was really good with that team. And, yeah. This is, I think, the most disrespected player. Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan at number 69. Matt Ryan had an incredible season. He, The numbers he put up were very similar to that of when he was MVP. I mean, this past season, he put up 35 touchdowns, 7 picks, and almost 5,000 yards. And when he won MVP, he put, almost, uh, he put up 38 touchdowns, 7 picks, and almost 5,000 yards. So the year he won MVP... He only had three more touchdowns. Only three more, and he's number 69. He should be top 30, be top 20. One thing I do like is how Phil Lindsay got some um, recognition. He had a really good rookie year, a cool story, undrafted, to being a really great player for Denver. So I'm glad that he is on the list. D4, good player for the Niners. Um, great defender. I would maybe have him a bit... Higher, but still pretty good. Eric Ebon, tight end for the Colts, one of the best tight ends. I don't know where the other two tight ends, who I think of, I think Zach Ertz and George Kittle are better than Ebron. I don't know where they ranked. I think Ebron was a contributor. Jason Pierre Paul for the Buccaneers. I don't know. I, I really don't know about this. I think that maybe Pierre Paul maybe should not be on the list. He didn't really have that great of a season. If so, maybe in the 80s. I'm also trying to look at the impact of the team. Like, Eric Ebron really impacted the Colts. Matt Ryan impacted his teams here with T.Y. Hilton and C.J. Mosley. So, I don't know if Jason Pierre-Paul really helped that Buccaneers defense. I feel like maybe Pierre-Paul, if he's on the list, should be 80. Amari Cooper. So, here's my thing with Mr. Amari Cooper. He was good with the Cowboys. I remember this game against the Eagles. He just torched them. <laughs> and it was uh, terrible to watch. But for me, he struggled with the Oakland Raiders before he got traded. And a lot of people are like, oh, Derek Carr and the Raiders aren't that great. That's half the battle. 
For me, Derek Carr is a competent quarterback, so I think half of that goes on Amari Cooper. I would switch Amari Cooper with um, T.Y. Hilton. I do think that both Stephon Diggs and T.Y. Hilton are better than Amari Cooper. Jadavion Clowney for the Texans at 63. I think that's good. Um, I didn't watch a ton of Houston football, but he was good. James Carr for the Steelers. I like his placement here. If anything, I think he maybe should be top 50. He was really good with the Steelers. And, you know, they had their main running back, Le'Veon Bell, sit out the entire season and kind of did a pretty good job. So, yeah. Jalen Smith, really great young linebacker. Um, I, I think that he should be a bit higher. Larry Fitzgerald coming in at and then so yeah we have now 60 through 51. Larry Fitzgerald, I love him. He had some good plays. I remember against the Packers, he had like a nice catch that helped them win the game. Um, he made like good touchdowns, but he was on a bad team and he didn't have the best uh, stat season. I like this placement for him. Do I think though that he's better than Stefan Diggs, Amari Cooper, and Ky Hilton? I don't know about that. I think he's better than Amari, but. I don't know if he's better than the other guys. Um, Zach Martin, offensive lineman for the Cowboys. Really good on linemen, but O linemen have kind of been undervalued. AJ Green, I love AJ Green. He's one of, I think, the most underrated players playing in the NFL currently, but he was injured most of the season, so I think this is a good placement for him. Daniel Hunter, defensive end for the Vikings. The Vikings defense was not as dominant as it was, but I still do like Daniel Hunter. Um, for me, should he be here? I think this is a good placement for him. You know, he had 14 and a half sacks. Um, I feel like if the Vikings defense was a bit better, he may have been up on the list. Maybe top 40, but I do like this. Joey Bosa is interesting. Joey Bosa, um, you have two edge rushers here, and 56 and 57 are very different. Daniel Hunter has 14 and a half sacks, while Joey Bosa has five and a half, but I think Bosa's better. Because he only has he has a he has less sacks than Daniel Hunter, but I think he was better of why he he helped impact his defense more. My friend and I were talking about this, and we're like, the Chargers defense was really good. And I think a lot of that was Joey Bosa. There's also great players on the Chargers who got a lot of the sacks as well. So I do like Joey Bosa here at this. Xavier Howard for the Dolphins. Um, some people are like, oh Xavier Howard, he's uh, underrated and stuff. He had the most interceptions in the NFL. But interceptions are not everything. They're good, but they don't tell the whole story. Sometimes the players with the least amount of interceptions are the best because that means they shut down their wide receivers and they don't get targeted. Um, so, I don't know. I, I think this is a good placement for Xavier Howard. I don't know how much of a popular opinion that's going to be, but I do think that is good. Calais Campbell. So, last year he was 14, and that season he had 14 and a half sacks. This season, he had 10 and a half sacks. Uh, I would say Clayus Campbell, I would have him at like 40 or 45. Mike Evans with the Buccaneers, really great player. Um, do I think he's better than all of those wide receivers? Yeah, he had a good season. The Bucs offense at times was one of the best this season, so I do like that. Tyron Smith, like it there. Glad I am getting some recognition. And Deshaun Watson at number 51. So... This is kind of interesting. Do I think Deshaun Watson is better than Matt Ryan? No, I think Matt Ryan's a better quarterback, but Deshaun Watson helped win with the team. So I would maybe switch Watson and Ryan, but Deshaun Watson definitely had a good year. And that, guys, is my thoughts on players 100 through 51. Hope you enjoyed this. This was really fun to do. Um, next week, we'll be doing the rest of the list. Again, I'll leave this link below in case you want to uh, check out these videos. They're pretty cool to watch. And yeah, guys, so this is the mentality doing what I love, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.